guys. Good morning. I'm actually here with Julie Marchese. She's one of the co-founders of Try for a Cure. And how you doing this morning, Julie? I'm doing great. Just want to get the things rolling yeah. and we're about there right now. I mean, can you believe it? Nine years and it's been getting just better and better each year. Tell us a little bit about the preparations for this year. Well, you know, preparations have started long ago, probably the day after year seven, I mean year eight. So each year we start earlier and earlier and we're just excited to be here. It's been a year in planning and here we are to this day and a few changes, but uh, it's going to be a great day. Yeah. What's happening this morning? I mean, a lot going on already. So volunteers started arriving about 4.30. Um, transition is about ready to open for all the athletes and they'll be starting to come in here very soon and it will start to get very active here very quickly. Yeah. And you guys had some exciting news. Your goal was $1.5 million and you what? We blew it away. We're at 1.6 and for the last nine years, each and every year, we've gotten better and better at that. Well, I can't say we. Yeah. All those wonderful women that are out there uh, with passion for the cause, so they're doing it all for us. Yeah, And we love it because that money raised stays right here in the state of Maine, right? It doesn't get any better than that. I think that's why Try for a Cure is such a huge success. Between cancer, the money staying right here, going to work for our own communities is just the right mix. Yeah, great. And tell us about, I mean, you, I mean, this is really close, near and dear to your heart, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. So it started out in 2000, my mom got cancer and um, I put everything I had into, you know, trying to give back. And um, four years later, I was diagnosed. So mom and I had something in common. We both fought together. She lost her battle last year. So it's a little bit bittersweet um, each year as I come back. And I, it makes me want to try more. That's all I can say. It's amazing, yeah. and, and so many people have a story too, and that's why so many people do it, right? There isn't anybody here that doesn't have a story, so volunteer, uh, spectator, anybody, all you have to do is turn around and say, why are you here, and you'll hear the most inspiring story you ever heard. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it so special too, because it's more than just a triathlon. I mean, there's so much more that goes into it. Oh, there's, yeah, I, it's, it's so emotional, it's hard, well, all your people are going to hear it, see it today. Um, just exactly the magic that's going to happen here in a little while. Yeah, and it really is magical. It really is. And, you know, every year we're so happy to be a part of this. So thank you so much, Julie. Oh, Maybe we'll, we're going to talk to some other folks coming up in a little bit, and we're going to send it back to you guys. All right, Tracy, thank you. And there we still have so much more ahead this morning. So inspirational, this entire event. And don't forget that the Try for a Cure is a fundraiser overall benefiting the Maine Cancer Foundation. And the great news is the uh, the Try has already surpassed its goal of raising one and a half million dollars.